We see functions like this in the family of real functions represented in the Cartesian plane. Now if we consider a real number line, extension of the line in two dimension gives us the imaginary axis and we get our complex or the Argon plane. So we can clearly get an idea that the Cartesian plane by no means is similar to the complex plane. Now let's try to plot a complex number z with real part as a and imaginary part as b. On applying a function, we get the plot of another complex number which is output of a applied function. Now let's have a look on a small clip. How a parabola? To understand this, let's have a look on the algebra behind it. We can have a look on the two complex numbers with which we have already dealt with. And we can also understand the transition. Now, if we consider the complex plane as the Cartesian plane itself, although it's not true, we can say that the x coordinate in the complex plane is a square minus b square and the y coordinate is 2ab. A bit of algebra will give us this and we'll finally get this. Well, this is an equation of a parabola. This is the case when the imaginary part is constant. You can try it out um, for the case when the real part is constant. So this is an example where two unrelatable things share some common relation.